Well, I, I mean, I think it was obvious to myself and certain people around soccer in the U.S. that once they made the alliance with MLS that they were going to continue to grow and continue to strengthen all the different aspects of running a pro league and running pro franchises. And, uh, you know, it's come to pass that they're in, they're in the best situation. They're poised to, you know, any day now become a, a legitimate second division again. Uh, with the amount of stability and, and weight and the amount of numbers and strong franchises with great uh, fan following. And, you know, I think Tulsa's in the same spot that a Cincinnati or a, uh, Sacramento is, or some of these teams that they were dying for a team to really get behind and root for. So hopefully right away from day one, uh, you know, I've only been here for four or five days, but already got out and met the supporters group met some of the different leagues, people that run leagues, some of the different youth club teams. And I just get the impression that if we can make a statement and, and, and really set our team culture and a level of professionalism that, you know, we'll hear very quickly, uh, you know, right from when the first couple announcement about who the staff is going to be and then the first uh, contract signings, I think it'll be exciting and we'll set the stage to really have a, you know, a dynamic, vibrant USL pro franchise that the city can get behind and that we can, you know, the goal is to make a big impact in the league, in the USL and also the Open Cup, you know, and compete on a national and international stage. So uh, I think it's the perfect place to be. And, uh, you know, this, you know, as we know right now, all kinds of exciting things going on. Uh, teams coming in, new teams and big numbers in some of the stadiums and uh, you know we expect to have the same type of success here beautiful stadium you know brand new training facility uh, you know it's just an exciting time to be part of the league